A long time ago, in the land of Verona, two parties quarreled with no end in sight. The Capulets and the Montagues, two families, enemies without reason. Many disagreements between them have led to violence and bloodshed, only to be united by the tragic death of two young lovers. This is the story of Romeo and Juliet. Why am I at this party? All I care for is my former lover, Rosaline. I miss her, I miss her smile, I miss her laugh, I miss her... Damn, girl! Lord Capulet, a Montague of the name of Romeo has been crashing your party. I don't really care, you know. There's enough women to go around. Just let them party. Now be gone, Tybalt. But, sir, good day, sir. Girl, you work at UPS. How's you be checking on the package? You know, I'm not that easy. You're not gonna be able to get me with those corny pickup lines. No, you're right. Only the most common way to fall for them. I can tell, you're not average. <laughs> I thought you never asked. Kiss me! <sighs> Romeo soon forgot about his dear Rosaline and married Juliet in the Friar Lawrence's cell the following day, despite their family's differences. Meanwhile, Tybalt seeks to battle Romeo because he crashed the party, but finds his friend Mercutio instead. I've come for Romeo. Romeo's not here. I can take a message. Okay then. Then tell him. I will slay you into a million bits and pieces. I will rip out your organs and stomp on your flat head. I will tie your windpipe in a knot so that your lungs collapse. I will pour boiling water on you while I tie you down. I will make a fire egg. Hey! Hey guys! Hey! What's up guys? Hey! How you doing, man? What's up? Uh, why are you looking at me like that, man? What's up? Romeo, you are a villain. Draw your sword, so we shall do Whoa, man, man. Uh, can, can we talk about this, you know? Go to lunch? Arby's? Treat? Line? <laughs> Just... No! You are a villain, and for that, you must be punished. I will slay you into a million bits and pieces. I will rip your organs and stomp on your flat head. I will tie your windpipe into a knot so your lungs collapse. I will pour boiling water on you slowly while you are tied down. I will cut off your fingers and pluck your nose hairs. I will die! You killed Marcuccio! Stabbed in the face! As punishment for killing Tybalt, Romeo is then banished from Verona and sent to the town of Mantua. Juliet is devastated, and to make things worse, her father is going to marry her to a rich man named Paris, ignorant of the fact that she has already wed to Romeo. In desperation, Juliet turns to the friar for help. Uh, drink this potion, you'll fall asleep. Everyone's gonna think you're dead. They'll bury you in the tomb, Romeo's gonna come and get you, and everything will be okay. And so, Juliet did as the friar said. The messenger, however, never got to Romeo. Instead, Romeo's servant Balthazar told Romeo that Juliet had died. Romeo flipped out, bought poison, and headed to Juliet's tomb to see his love once more before he ended his own life. Juliet! Juliet! Why did you have to die? I mean, even now you still look alive! The color of your lips, the blush of the cheeks, I must, 
I must have one more kiss. And now, I'm straight poison. Da, 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 da. I am alive, I'm alive, I'm alive! Romeo! Romeo! Romeo, you stupid moron idiot! Romeo! I need to kill myself! And so, both houses, brought together by the grief of Romeo and Juliet's tragic death, Finally unite and build statues in their memory. The end. <laughs>